and Manny MUA. Hi, Daddy. Hola. Hola, amigo. ¿Cómo estás, mi gente? I'm mi here gente too, Latino. guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Last time, too. Last okay. time, They too. Are, it's like I'm not in the no, room. We we, Tyler, when we you guys love are together, you. it's like I'm not in the no, no, no. goddamn room. No, no, no. We love you. And you're always there. And you're always present. Just like a little <laughs> shadow. <laughs> Like a little fly. Like a little fly. You guys, today we're going to play this game called Debatable. And we needed a third person because Ty is going to be like the moderator and like guide the game and like the pick judge. who the winner, the judge of the winner. So we'll get into that in a second. But first, you know, we're going to start with a little peek and pit. You guys mm-hmm. keep them short because there's three of us and they're You're sick right. of our yeah. shit. They're yeah, sick yeah. of our they're shit. They're sick of our shit. Well, Perfect. I'll put a when the game starts. Vibes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. That. Yeah. Love that. Why don't we start off with you, Laura Lee? Um, I'll start off Lori. with my pit, which is a baby pit. It's a tiny baby pit, but that is still a pit. Okay. So I was on Amazon and I'm always looking for healthy cat food because we feed our cats smalls mm-hmm, for the wet mm-hmm, food, but mm-hmm. we like to let them graze on dry food in the day. And yeah. the vet's also sick of me because he's like, your cats are obese. And so I'm like, well, well let me just... Okay, only one of them's obese. Well, baby was like, <laughs> technically he weighs too much for his age, but that's okay. He's it's not like, like obese. It's like me where like, they're like, man, you're obese. But it's it's like... like a you obese where it's like, you're not obese. <laughs> Lord, <are> you <laughs> That's like a you. <laughs> now the doctor said you were obese. I know, but it just sounds so funny saying it like out loud. You're like, no, it's like a you obese. Because you're not obese. I know. You're literally not obese. I know. Okay, it's like that's big baby. He's not obese, like, yes. but the doctor would say he was obese. Yeah. But like, if you're like, no, him, he's not. He's not. Like, he's technically, not. yes, you are. But. Okay, tell me about the re enact. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm always looking for some cat food for them that's like healthier dry food as well. Mm-hmm. And we switch up. I try to switch up because I feel like if you feed your cats the same thing every single day, it's like. Don't stop liking it. Yeah. Or like, it's like, would you like to eat the same thing no, every day? Yeah, no, no, uh-uh. no. So I try to switch it up. So I found this cat food on Amazon that was like top rated. <laughs> I ordered it and it came in in like a bag this big. <laughs> it came in like a, a bag massive. for like a pit bull. It was like, okay? it was at least like a 50 pound bag. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. It was so big. Food. And so I was like, oh, no. So, of course, I dump it in their food bin, and then I feed them some of it, and all my cats are like this. We don't like it. They're like this. (laughs) They're like, so it turns out we don't actually like it. And you poured it all. And we have so much of it. I did. We have so much of it. It's so annoying. Yoshi eats it. But she also eat crumbs off the ground. Like, that don't count. But the other ones, they're not into it. So I'm like, oh, my God. What am I doing? All all this cat food. People are like, donate it. I'm like, you can't donate opened cat food. food. They don't take it. There's poisoners out there. No, of course. They're crazy people. They're crazy people. So I have come up with a plan that is working. I bought the cat food that they like, and I'm mixing it in. Mm -hmm. And so it's tricking them. But I have a very picky cat who's eating around (laughs) (laughs) each piece. The pebble. Each pebble of the cat food that Yoshi comes. Comes in and like sweeps up everything yeah. else, but yeah. um, yeah. So that's my pit. Okay, that's I, a quick one. Annoying. It was a thing. quick one, but they all do the same thing. What's your pit, so man? Around. Thank you so much to Shopify for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, Shopify is the best all-in-one commerce platform capable of handling your business complexity, no matter how big you are, how big you grow, whatever it might be. I love personally shopping on sites that use Shopify. It's so good, and it's an amazing, amazing commerce platform for your business if you have them. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash full coverage. That's all lowercase. That's one month for just $1 at shopify.com slash full coverage. Shopify.com slash full coverage. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Did you know hyaluronic acid naturally occurs in our skin, but decreases gradually as we age. So if you guys want to check it out, start Hyacera to help minimize wrinkles without compromising on clean science. Hyacera from Ritual is a clinically proven skin supplement you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month for a limited time at ritual.com slash full. Start Ritual or add Hyacera to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash full for 25% off. This podcast is presented by Lash Paradise Mascara with L'Oreal Paris. I personally have been loving the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise Mascara because of how much length it gives my lashes. I have stubborn lashes and sometimes Mm -hmm. I don't like to stand up, but this mascara gives it the length. And I love, love, love that the the fluffy bristles from the brush give them a really fuller looking intensity on the lash. Baby, clean girls out. Big mascara's in. Drop the falsies. Lash Paradise Mascara gives you all the drama for your lashes. You guys can order Lash Paradise on Amazon now. My pit. You guys, I'm weaning off my SSRI right now on my Prozac. (gasps) Wow. And it's actually really hard. 
Is that's it? Why I pit. Yeah, is it that's hard? Why I pit. Is that it's actually really hard? I didn't know it was gonna be so hard um, to wean off because I used to take. I was already on a small dosage. I was only taking twenty milligrams a day, but now I'm taking ten, mm. and I like cut it in half I and noticed. I started the weaning. And I've noticed that like. So my anxiety is a kind of anxiety that is like more of the impending doom anxiety okay. where it's like one thing can spiral into like, I can't function the rest of the day kind of anxiety. So I've always taken a little thing to like offset that kind of anxiety because I've had it for so long. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it started obviously when I was really young, like just being closeted gay, like that has just turned into an adult anxiety. Um, so trying to wean off of it, especially because I had a launch was like actually a lot harder and I've been biting my nails a lot more and like I've been doing but I'm, but I'm trying to stay strong and continue to wean and like stay on my tens and then potentially hopefully just get off of it completely yeah not even take the SSRIs but it's very hard getting off of it because I've been on it for 10 years wow mm. so it's like yeah. trying to get off of something that I've been on for 10 years and luckily I've been doing it really slowly so I'm not getting brain zaps or I'm not getting these like weird sensations it's more so like I'll focus on one thing and I can't stop focusing on this one thing. And that's mm -hmm. what I noticed. That was like my old anxiety. Like like a bad thing? A, focus on yeah, a bad like a bad thing. thing. Like let's say one thing happens, it triggers like the bad thing. And then the bad thing is all I can think about. And that's mm. all I wow. think about for the like entire day. And it kind of like ruins my whole day. But I'm trying to like. Navigate. Navigate it because I want to get off of it. But it's just like been harder than I thought it was going to be. Do you feel like this is me asking? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, I definitely have anxiety, but I have never been on medication. So totally. that's where I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like. um you weaning off of it and dealing with these anxieties, feeling them, mm -hmm. navigating them, dealing with them can get easier over time due to dealing mm -hmm. with them, you know, every more. single day more. more. Yeah, more. totally. And I think that like, that's what I'm hoping for. And that's why I'm continuously doing what I'm doing. Um, the hard part is that like, if I have one issue about one thing, you don't tend to really get over that one issue because it's an issue that's never happened. Mm -hmm. So that's what anxiety is. It's like mm -hmm. anxiety is fear of things that could happen Fear of the future of the future. So it's like, if I have anxiety about like, say my, my mom passing away in some mm -hmm. that capacity, I can't not like that doesn't get easier because it's not happened. And I will mm -hmm. only focus on that one thing mm -hmm. potentially like, or like when I was really younger, I would do that. I would focus on that every single day. And so now I was like, okay, like the, the things that the medicine was to help me not have panic right. attacks from my own self-induced panic. That I'm causing. You have a therapist, right? I feel like you need uh -huh. tools. That's yeah, I no, was the tools. literally about yes, to say, I agree. Tools. Therapists give you. But tools it's funny because I haven't like... been like the therapy in like a while. Mm -hmm. So I've been like just kind of chilling. Yeah. But now I'm like, okay, I'm getting off my SSRIs. I should probably do like a little more toolage, mm -hmm. a little more help to helping help my tools. When you get in there mm -hmm. and it comes, mm -hmm. a tools to wean yourself out exactly. or navigate yourself now out to, so exactly. you can enjoy your day uh -huh. and not ruin your day. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. listen, I'm no pro at it. I'm sure there are. It just sucks. Like it's just like one of those millions that, like, ins and outs mm -hmm. with it. You know, it's very mm -hmm. intricate. And I think it's very different for everyone. Yeah, but what's helping is that like because now I take like vitamin D, mm -hmm. which I was already already really suffi sufficient. That was really and that was that's really bad for anxiety. And I work out almost every day. Oh, I bet that helps so those so like much. Those, that's why I'm like I'm gonna get off because it's like I'm doing these things mm -hmm. in my life that help me a lot. So it's, but I just noticed like when you're getting off of something, kind of like take some time. It takes some it's time. an adjustment. And it's you feel the difference. Month. It's only been a month. So I'm wow. like. I you feel said that difference. medicine was working. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was, it was doing huh, its job. I can I can sleep with that medicine. Though, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's just like a funny thing, but it, it's it's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to get off. I love that you're mm -hmm. trying, trying something new because mm -hmm. yeah. life is um, we tend to become snack, stagnant in our life totally. and lean to the habits that work for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm reading the book Atomic Habits right now. So it really is deep into like why we do everything that we oh. do. And like every I say habit and people may think that as a rude thing, but it's it doesn't mean a habit. It just means the things that we do on purpose are considered your routine. habits. Your routine, like your routine, your your routine. routine is mm -hmm. a habit technically. Mm -hmm. So I don't mean that you have a habit of taking no, yeah. it. I'm just saying that's in your routine. Like yeah. life is breaking it about up. breaking it up mm -hmm. so good for you for breaking it up and you're uh -huh. also not the same good person you. you were 10 years ago it's when so you true on, so. so much exactly. has happened like i was not like and that's why that's another reason why i'm like why like why should i stay on it if like i i've grown so much and like i've done all right. these things and like i've worked on myself so much and yeah. like I was i'm glad you're not like then. letting that discourage you and being like oh no i should stay on i should this. go back yeah. to 20 yeah yeah no no, no. i'm staying i'm staying on my tens for a good. while and then i feel like once i get off like the tens and can go to five mm -hmm. and then potentially do like zero that's so good. That's i'm really just trying good. to half and half them luckily prozac is the easiest to wean off of that's good in comparison to all ssris oh interesting it's been the easiest one that's what they say it's just like i notice it because I'm the one weaning off. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I just know it's like my nails are bitten more. I crave more like, like I said, like chocolate candy. Do you feel like that's things. worth 
the trade off. Like I do. I like, I, wanna, I, I would just, too. I, just I would want too. To like be able to be like, can I just do it without them? I would That's rather chew point. my right. nails off or pick my yeah. skin. Well, and or those then, are like things that you can curb. Yeah, you can, exactly. Yeah. If you're noticing them, you can mm -hmm. stop them. And so. the, because I'm more like now, I'm more aware of like I can take supplements like magnesium or a vitamin D, like things I'm already like I was like kind to of deficient help in curb. to off. And that's literally natural. Like, that's just a natural supplement. It's not, like, something that's, like, man-made in comparison to, like... Prozac. Prozac. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been difficult, but I'm I'm, I'm still trekking. You're I'm still, on this I'm journey. On journey. That's yeah, really good. We're, we're here for you, Thank sweetie. You. <laughs> yes, we're here for you. If you need to chop some bitches' heads, uh, I will back you. I'll be like, y'all, he's lowered his Prozac. Listen. So, y'all better stop trying Listen, him. I'm on tens right now. Okay. So, y'all want to get your asses snapped. Like... Don't try me. I'm going to have to back it up, fam. <laughs> yeah. Do not Because I be me. snapping bitches every day with no Prozac. Uh -huh. like, and their listen, time's coming. Listen. Their time's coming. <laughs> Manny's going to be. Once I'm at five, who knows Oh, yeah. Once you're at five, it's over for everyone. <laughs> In the best way. In I best would way. love to see you snap at some bitches. No, totally. I would love like, to I, see. I encourage I, it. Yeah, I snap. No, but there's, I've been, <laughs> there's been definitely, like, I, I, as I've gotten older, too, I've, I've come up with more tools to, like, I feel like help and actually talk about my feelings uh -huh. whereas i used to not do it as much when i was younger yeah. like i'm a lot more like hey like this made me feel upset and this is why whereas i didn't really do that a lot that's what i'm talking about then. i encourage that behavior mm -hmm. i encourage it. if something upsets you speak it speak it into speak the speak it speak your truth praise be so. ty what's your pit so my pit we're not going to talk about how i got myself into this situation i don't even know but what gonna we're say. just so going to talk about what i'm gonna the repercussions that i have to deal with so I had to cancel on my golf guys oh. this past Saturday. And so like a last minute cancellation. Mm. So nobody like filled my spot. Oh. So only three guys went out to go. So is that a thing? Like you, you wanted to be filled like one, two, four people. Well, yeah, yeah. You always want to be four people okay, for it. one tea time. So like I canceled last minute. So it's three guys that went out. Nobody else could take my spot because I canceled last minute. They all have plans. So mm -hmm. as like a punishment for that for me, the guys. In, in the golf group, in the golf chat, the typical punishment is one of the guys has a dog collar, like the shot collars, and you have <laughs> you have to wear it during a round. So and Shakira has an issue with the Barbie movie. And straight, <laughs> and and straight men are doing shit and like this, doing, and I'm like, Shakira, what the fuck? Y'all seeing the problem? Yeah, y'all seeing the problem here? I'm scared. I, so, so you have to I've, do the, I've never worn, it, worn it, it before, but he's had it out before, and like he shocked me with it, and, and that shit strong. hurts. Yes, I feel bad for like dogs that people are doing this too because that shit hurts. So and it's what, not even on my neck. Oh, so it's not on your neck. No, he put it on oh, my I arm. On your neck. He put it on my arm, and it hurts. So, but do you have to wear it on your neck when you? I'm do gonna the have to wear it. Yeah. I'll probably film a TikTok when I do it just, I told to, just to, to get some content. I told to because I was like, I I need to know what's I going need to on. See that. Like I need to know what's happening. So First, so I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. So wait, when does it activate though? That's the thing. When does the call activate? So he sound. No, right? no, no, no. So it. you got sound ones, or you got ones that you can control. He's got ones that you can control. So, so it'll like activate? be in my backswing, and he could just zap me. No. Yeah. But like you don't get like how many zaps. I don't know. That's, like, I need to have crazy. a discussion with them. Yeah, because and also it has levels. It's like a dial from like yes. one to ten. To one. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like really scared because oh, I cannot wait <laughs> to see this TikTok. I'm so excited. Yeah, well, so that's mean, that's my pit. That last minute cancellation. Yeah, you can't cancel. You ain't gonna do it you again. Can't cancel on the boys. Yeah, this is that's the point, right? You're like you're, you're gonna cancel this on I'm not, or like a lot last minute ever again. I'm not gonna cancel on the boys. What well, was an ever emergency again? I straight men are so they scare me. Scary, so scary. <laughs> they sc they are. Me. They're. This is why we're scared. They're putting dog collars on each other for While missing golfing. golf. That's so scary. That's so scary. Shakira, what the fuck is wrong with you? I know, girl. What did, what what punishment would you guys give for somebody canceling Spanking. last minute? Um, I would be like. I don't know. Not in, in, a, in a, like a group. See, <laughs> not invited to the next one. <laughs> like what the fuck? See, to me, that's too hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> invite like, me. I'll pay my. Me, I'll pay I'll my pay dues. The price. I'll pay the price. I'll pay the no, piper. I don't no, Laura, know. What, what would you think? I would I like you like, have to buy everybody something. Yeah, uh, dinner's on you. Or dinner's like it would be like you. something. Yeah, but see, money is just like that's money. They, it doesn't they, affect. They want. They want it to be visceral and physical because they're sick. Because actually, you, because you're that group, you are sick. Yeah, and they are. sick. I do not together. want to inflict pain on anyone for no, missing. No, me neither. Well, I've I've been a part of 
roasting like, and, and we were, shocking. No, one, exactly. one of the guys, yeah, missed, so we did it to him. Exactly. So it now you have hilarious. to. It's the, ha- it's the hazing, essentially. It was hilarious. Yeah, it's, yeah. Hazing. it's hazing. It's hazing. It's adult hazing. It is. It is. <laughs> so I'm not looking forward so. to that. That's the pit. I can't wait. <laughs> to hear about it. Um, what is my peak? Oh, Got Aaron's peak. coming to see me this weekend. Oh, when does she come in? I don't know. I'll, I'll text her, but okay. she's coming, and I'm ready to see her. She's oh, it's been a while. I feel it's been a long Since, time. Since like holidays, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. She came in between. Then I thought she came, okay. she came one weekend. She came in oh, for the like, are. but yep. we were like, she like came for like a day. Yes. So she's gonna come spend the weekend with me. I'm so excited. Oh, I love that. I know. No baby. That's my peak. I love spending time with her. I just talked to her for hours the other day on the phone, and we were yapping. We're both yappers. So oh, once we, God. it's I awful. Love it's awful. So I love it. Yeah, if we yeah. get going, we'll There's we we both want to be the mysterious girl. But I told Aaron, I'm like, have you ever been trapped trying to do small talk with? The mysterious girl. It is torture. Hell. Sure, it is hell. hell. Manny, back me up. Hell. Small talk with people that give you nothing. Hell. I get it if you're an introvert, Let but at leave. least do the business of asking questions back. It's just, it's just politeness, whether you're shy or not. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> just, well, just how the good. fuck am I? I'm good too. <laughs> well, Thanks fuck for me. Well, fuck we me. do a lot of that in this community, and I always say for the girls out there, it's like I'm a fucking yapper. I overshare. I did it again. Do not beat yourself up. You are a pleasure to talk to. I'd we rather be trapped you, in any corner with an overshare any day of the week than a mysterious than a mouse. mouse. So please do not beat yourself up over being an overshare. Please don't ever. Pride oh yourself on it. God. I love yappers. Yappers. I love a You're yapper. safe. You're I feel safe like with me. we actually. I can be a yapper too at times. Oh you, are, man, you are the yappiest you two yapper together, on I'll, earth. I'll literally be in conversation with you guys, and y'all start yapping, and I can walk out of the room. You have no idea that I even left. <laughs> he just said he you could be no a yapper. Idea. I have moments. <laughs> no, do I, okay. Do it's so funny, Laura. The call was, is coming from inside, inside the, the house. I was just like talking. I was um, Desi had DM'd me and she was talking about. She's like, "How is it that like I feel like you and Laura know all the tea all the time about everyone?" And I'm like, "We do." She's like, "You guys are just those girls," and I'm like, "We are." Hard. Like everyone, like I feel like people like to come to us and like talk to us and like mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. chit chat and like mm-hmm. shoot the shit with us because we are also yappers. Yeah, we're yappers. And it's just like fun to say Kiki real quick and move it on. And she's like. No, the information, for the most part, stays with us. It does. We're, it stays we're really vault. good you know at that. navigating it, yes. but we know so much. We have vaults in our minds. We do. Well, let's reveal all. No. In full mm, coverage, baby. No. That's more of a book. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's oh. That's so a we're plugging a book, book deal that's right here on in the future. I'm going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My title. <laughs> I have a steel trap too. <laughs> I was still trap. Like I'm not like especially if someone's like, don't tell anyone. I'm like, I'm not telling anyone. Yeah. Unless it's yeah. you, of course. Yeah, well, <laughs> that, that means I can't. That tell only you. counts as you, of course. That means I can tell you. But anyone else, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, my peak is that my launch went really well. I'm so happy. Yay! Like I just had a good launch as well. So I'm like, you guys use Winter. code Laura Lee. Yeah, I know yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> I know and they that's did. right. They did. Laura got a good old check. <laughs> oh, I got a little check, but um, no, it was really. I'm just, I'm just happy it went well because you never know. It's scary. <laughs> As long as eating fucking Rice Krispies. It got me so bad last time for doing this. Oh, were you doing it away? Wait, were you yeah. eating in the mic? I ate no, it's in the mic. it started. She's like, "Hey guys," <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, "Why the fuck are you doing this?" Like, I have to leave this episode right now. <laughs> I forgot that happened. Man, okay. it was it was a. Uh, Guys, you're like, hey guys, I'm eating. <laughs> that was Laura. I'm so hungry, please. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just happy it was a success. People really enjoyed it. They loved the collection. People are starting to get it in now, and so I'm just like, ah, oh, praise. The reviews are in. The reviews are in. A lot of it's positive. Very, reviews. very positive. Mm-hmm. So I'm just happy, like especially because like there's there's some color to it. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like just only neutral, so yeah. I feel like it does have a lot of color, neutrals. Though. It does, it really does. But like neutrals tend to be the ones that sell the most because 100%. it's neutrals and people wear those every user day. Friendly, it's more user friendly. Whereas like things with pops of color and more bolder tones, it can be a little more spooky for yeah. people. So I'm really I felt very blessed that people really enjoyed it. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's a, actually Thank a great you. mix of like neutrals and colors. Yeah. And it's like a different palette for you because the outside cover of it is like completely different. It's like drawn up. It's so cool. Yeah. It's like animated. Yeah. Whereas you usually do more photorealism. Right. Photorealism. So it was, it was fun. It was a really fun collection to do. I'm really proud of it. Yeah. I'm glad that you I guys enjoyed it. it. So thank you guys. Can't wait to use it. 
That's right. I'm a little gloss on your little soul. <laughs> yes, a little soul lip gloss. <laughs> a little soul lip gloss. Okay, so what is your peak? My peak is this Saturday, I'm leaving for the Masters. Golf and <gasps> golf. Golf pit, golf peak. He will be back by the time this airs, so I won't get robbed and murdered. I will, good, yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. Wait, so um, how long are you gone for? Um, I'm gone for like four days. So it's Holy a little shit. it's a little mini golfing trip, and then we go to the Masters, and then we come back home. And then, so is it you're just watching other people play golf? At the Masters. That's just yeah. right. That's yeah. What it is. So uh, the Masters is like a highly exclusive. Oh, like it's, exclusive. It's so you're basically, not playing golf? No, no, I am. Not at, at the beginning. The in the beginning. Oh. But not the yeah, not at the not Masters. Masters level yet. The Masters is like basically the Super Bowl of golf. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's so it's kind what, of like Tiger Woods vibes. That's what every golfer, professional golfer, wants to win. It's like the biggest tournament. Oh, really? Yeah. So. But it's really hard to go. It's like hard to get. Yeah, in. it's really hard to get tickets. You have to. They have like a lottery system that you have to like sign your name up for to even get like like the face value tickets. Like you can buy resale, but like you're mm. paying like out the ass. Wow. Right. So a uh, buddy of ours that we golf with, he mm. actually wound up winning the lottery for a practice round. So we get to go for a practice round, which he, is like he, you're which going I mean, a miracle, unheard itself. of. It's unheard of, and and also the practice rounds, like all the merch and stuff, will still be there by the time the tournament rolls around. A lot of that will be gone, so mm -hmm. it's it's like good for us to get in there early. But I'll take a practice round over no round because they do that practice rounds so before the actual tournament rounds for you. So you like have no idea you. what I'm talking about. No, 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 yeah, I get no. it. No, it's like I'm assuming that it's like a. Uh, like a pregame to the game. Or something yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's really cool because like all the guys are out there golfing and like they're trying different shots because it's not the actual tournament. So mm. and it's less people, so like you can interact more. Yeah. It's not quite as like an intense moment for them. So like they're more loose. They're, not they're so more crazy. loose, and they'll come mm -hmm. talk to fans and stuff like I that. Love so that. It's like a really cool experience. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Where's it at? Sure for four days. It's, really it's in Augusta, Florida, Georgia. Oh. Going to Georgia for it. I don't even Georgia. know where this man's going. Oh, I'm like, oh, he's in like, Florida oh, this fun. weekend. I had a golf, <laughs> play not, golf. He's in Miami. Yeah, he's playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Oh. That's so Are crazy. Are you going to stop by home and say hello since you'll be next door? No. <gasps> well, we'll be I'm going to call your dad and tell him. We got, <gasps> yeah, I'll I'm call him too. Yeah. We got two sure. days of golf and then one day at the tournament and then I'm back. So I just don't have time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm like traveling with other people too, so it's not like I'm just gonna. So let's stop all over. go see my parents. Yeah, right. <laughs> like yeah. four other. That guys would be another plane flight too. Oh, like, they it's would not love that. Close. Your parents would love that. <laughs> yeah, they, they your parents would be like, would. yeah, they would. We're hosting tonight. Thank you so much to Shopify for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, Shopify is the best all-in-one commerce platform capable of handling your business complexity, no matter how big you are, how big you grow, whatever it might be. I love personally shopping on sites that use Shopify. It's so good, and it's an amazing, amazing commerce platform for your business if you have them. I know me and Manny love it. We love how easy it is to switch your business business over to Shopify. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are millions of people trusting this platform and it's also super user friendly. So, you know, if you're not good with tech stuff and you're trying to run a business, Shopify is the way to go. They make it so user friendly to run your business on the back end there. Minimal LA and Lunar Beauty are on Shopify. That's right. And it's the best thing to Speak have. Speak to it. Speak <laughs> to it. <laughs> Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash full coverage. That's all lowercase. That's one month for just $1 at shopify.com slash full coverage. Shopify.com slash full coverage. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Did you know hyaluronic acid naturally occurs in our skin, but decreases gradually as we age. This decrease can cause skin to become thinner, drier, and more prone to wrinkles. Ritual's higher Sarah supplement is clinically proven to reduce wrinkles and improve the skin's smoothness. So higher Sarah is actually a once a day daily skin supplement that's clinically proven to reduce wrinkles and fine lines and increase skin smoothness in 90 days. And in a clinical study, higher Sarah led to 3.6 times reduction of crow's feet wrinkles within 90 days days as compared to a placebo effect, which clearly it is working. I think it's actually really easy to fit into your skincare routine as well because you just take, and it's just a little pill, so you don't actually have to worry about 
you know, for getting this step. You just take it and you're good to go. I love how easy they make it. So if you guys want to check it out, start Hyacera to help minimize wrinkles without compromising on clean science. Hyacera from Ritual is a clinically proven skin supplement you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month for a limited time at ritual.com slash full. Start Ritual or add Hyacera to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash full for 25% off. Okay, guys, now we're going to get into the game. We're going to play this game. It's called Debatable. And basically, Tyler's going to explain to you what we're doing. Um, so it's a game that has two, pretty much two options, like option A versus option B. And you guys have to argue about we which one to. is better. Okay. So even if, so say, for instance, I give you this and Laura's going to start the argument. She picks one side. Why don't it doesn't you read matter. This one to okay, get an so example. this one is dealing with problems. See a okay. therapist or take up boxing. So, so I pick oh, okay. which side I want to say is better. Yeah. Okay. So if she goes first, okay. I'm going to be the judge. And before you guys even pick, I'm going to pick a side. Oh, so you're you not going to know. You're not going to know what I picked. Got it. So if so, say it's Laura's turn and I pick take up boxing and she decides to argue against and says, see a therapist. She wants to try to sway me. She doesn't know what I picked. She might try to guess what I picked, but she doesn't know that I picked this. And, and then you have to argue the opposite side. If she mm. sways me, she gets two points. If she doesn't sway me, both of y'all get one point. Got it. Okay, cool. So we're basically going to have an argument. We're basically yeah. so yeah. we're so we're titling, arguing. So we're titling this episode... Manny and Laura arguing. arguing. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So yeah. there's some, there's Sorry, some fun ones me. in here. <laughs> so we got Mandy versus Lori. Got it. Mandy versus Lori. The sequel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. So All I right. feel like I'll, I'll pick it up better as we. Yeah, as we, yeah, yeah. As we we'll, move we'll start along. to. And we'll start I love a game. Mm -hmm. I actually, my aunt came like, over for the weekend for Easter and she actually, her gift to me was like, five board games like oh, four, nice. five, so like, i'm gonna oh, definitely bring some over there's some that would be really fun family. i know that's why i'm like we're bringing we're i'm bringing it over yeah um so do you guys want to go just back and forth of who picks every time or who who starts the argument yeah let's do back and forth okay we'll do that are we ready mm -hmm. we're ready anything else to add we're jumping right in i don't know all right how should everyone pr i can't pronounce this because then you'll know my answer oh you want to read it how should everyone pronounce pecan? Is it pecan or pecan? Oh, okay. So how should everyone pronounce pecan? Pecan or pecan? The thing is, I'm not. Who's starting it? Oh. Who's starting? Pick a number in your head between one and ten. Tell me when you got the number. Okay. You got your number? Yeah. What's your number? Three. Four. I picked. What three. was your number? You I picked, picked three. three. Yeah. So I, he starts. How so funny start. is that? I love that. <laughs> three is my favorite number. <laughs> um, okay, guys. So my, I think that it's, it's pronounced pecan, not pecan. I think pecan because that sounds the most phonetically sickening, <laughs> and pecan honestly sounds dumb. Mm. Um, so that's my argument: is that pecan sounds like rich and regal and sickening. Like, so you're saying pecan? Pecan. It's a pecan. Yes, it's a pecan. I pecan think pie. that Southern people such as myself, as stupid as it may sound, <laughs> we say, I think we say pecan. Do you say pecan? I feel like I've, I ne don't I've never know. said pecan in your life. I feel like I've never said the word. Have I? <laughs> <laughs> I think you have said the word pecan before. Or pecan. I definitely think you've said it before. But maybe, but you're, if you're not eating like pecan pie. Pecan this is pie. the thing. I know that there is a very specific southern way of saying it. And I can't remember which one it is. But you said one sounds stupid. So it's making me think that I definitely <laughs> say pecan. Pecan. No, Jordan, it's because it's, it's a pecan pe pie. Pecan. It's a pecan it's just, pie. It's just like long. It's just like longer. Pecan is just like quick. Pecan is almost like two syllables, whereas pecan is like. Okay, I'm gonna smaller. go hard with pecan because a pecan pie sounds very right. I mean, to you me. have to be because that's second. Oh, I have that's, to. That's, okay. <laughs> my okay. side yeah, is that's pecan. the side you're going with. Okay, yeah. What's your argument? You haven't. You've literally just figured out how you pronounce it, but you haven't. <laughs> oh, like, this was figuring out. Giving me any that. argument. You're doing really bad at this game, guys. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a hard one. I feel like this is hard. I think it is. It is pecan because how is it spelled? May I look at the word? Pecan. Mm -hmm. C a n. P e c a n. But it. Pecan. You think or that's it's pecan? Yeah, it's it's said how it, it's. 
P E C A N is pecan. It said how pecan. How did I say? You say pecan. <laughs> I say pecan. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's right. it said how it's spelled. <laughs> yeah. Pecan is P U H K H A N. That's a made up word. <laughs> no, I think pecan sounds the most phonetically correct because pecan is too long winded and it's almost like two hard syllables, whereas pecan is just like, mm. pecan. pecan. Okay. okay. All right. So my choice is to go with pecan only because I like saying it like that. I don't normally pronounce it like that, but I just like saying pecan pie. <laughs> But do Did actually say if pecan? I'm an Arab, yeah. If 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 I was just speaking normally and I I was saying like pecan, and I didn't I would convince say pecan. you to say pecan. No, you didn't. <sighs> what a bitch! <laughs> I don't like that. You guys <laughs> both get a point though. Why? Okay, got it. Because because I didn't choose. He didn't sway me, but he didn't also didn't it. choose the right thing. So you both get a point. Oh, okay. If okay. he would have swayed me, he would have got both points. You got none. Understood. Damn. I'm warming up. I'm warming up. Same. I'm warming up. All right, warm. It's our one. first one. It's our first. All right. Ready? Who pronounces it pecan for real? Pecan. But for reals though. And like a, Southern a people. Pie. I think, isn't like it Like really, really, really Southern people say pecan pie. Pecan, 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 pecan pie. pie. I just like pecan. saying it like that, but normally I'd pecan say pecan. pecan pie. In a normal, like you would say In a normal pecan. setting, I would say pecan. That's what I thought too. What if it's pecan? Pecan. What if you combine the two? All right, moving Pecan. on. Expiration dates. So this is you going first. <laughs> Expiration dates. Iffy two days before, good for a week after. It depends on what it depends on what it is. Like if it's milk. Wait, it's, let me pick one first. Oh, oh go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah. Just, I'll just no, you pick and then I because I don't want to sway. Okay, go ahead. All right. It depends on what it is because if it's milk, it's got to go after a week. Like that's two, that's the two, uh, expiration dates, in my opinion, are suggestions. Same. And you just got to give it a sniff. Mm -hmm. You just got to so kind of which one are you going for? So I would Leafy say or good for a week after. Good for a week after. I'm going. To, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with that. I've definitely eaten some majorly expired food. I think if you two days before, because I do think that it can start to get a little crazy, mm -hmm. especially if you're buying like, let's say if you're buying from the store. And it's like, oh, it expires, but it expires next week. Mm -hmm. And that was what the expiration was. Like, I would rather go, like, I don't know about it being for a week after. A week after is a little too sus for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like two days before, I'm getting a little spooky. Because I don't even drink the bottom of the milk. Once the milk's done, the little last pieces of the milk, no. I don't drink it. Why? I don't know. It's weird to me. <laughs> that little end of the milk, I'm like, uh-uh. I can't drink that last. I can't drink the last cup. I'm not going to lie. I cook with a lot of expired food. <laughs> Condiments, but it's cooked. yeah, it's cooked. So it's like you're it's cooking cooked. through the shit. 100%. But I think that, like, to like to me, it's funny because if it would, if this was mine, I would have picked the one that I got because I don't, I don't, I just don't trust. Y'all go in your fridge right now. I just don't check trust your it. condiments. I bet Ooh, you a hundred dollars. No. Y'all are eating expired ass condiments check. from 2019. I bet they are. Check your what spices. is it? The spices. We found oh my crazy God. shit. Spices. My parents' house is always mm. the worst. We found medicine in his parents' medicine. house from the 90s. I have medicine that's expired. The house, like I'm talking, like and some of it still old. works. Yeah, just not epic. It's not. Right. It does not have high okay, efficacy. Okay, okay, Mandy, okay. you did not sway me. I'm going with a week. I would honestly I, go I don't, to. Those are yeah. suggestions to me. I don't I don't like like I do feel like iffy about like I don't I don't it weirds me out, but mm -hmm. if it's like a couple days. Mm -hmm. Well to be honest, like with, with milk, I usually don't even like re I'll just smell it. Yeah, me right. too. Yeah, I don't smell like it's turning. Mm -hmm. Good law. Mm -hmm. We'll taste Ooh. I ain't tasting <laughs> shit. <laughs> if I'm getting a weird vibe, I ain't tasting <laughs> shit. One thousand percent. The chalk. Uh, uh, uh. All right, nobody swayed me yet. You guys, everything is just like uh. I'm like eggs, like anything that has like it's past expiration. I'm like fuck, 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 fuck. We're probably eating it. <laughs> we're not swaying you. You're not no, swaying we're not. me. We're you not. guys are. Just you get to start not this good one. Debaters. You get to pick what side you want to be on. All right, Manny. Best use of time travel to see the future to change the past. Oh, I know you love this one. Oh, I know you. Okay, love I this am choosing to. Change the past. Oh, interesting. I'm, you know, even though I have anxiety, you know, and I would love to see the future. <laughs> um, I think, like, it's it's funny because like, I feel like we, we just talked about this last episode where it's like, I feel like I have grown so much and I wish I had so much of this knowledge that I have now so that I could have a better version of my future. So I would, like, think I would go back and be like, let me just win the lottery. 
Oof. Why don't like like I feel like you can do so many things, prevent things from happening that could have like happened that were like not good, prevent friendships I didn't want to happen by going back in time. Yes, yeah. by going back in time, and you it's like, it's like even though I know it's like the butterfly effect. Yeah, I feel like if I knew things that I know now, mm-hmm. I could have an even better version of who I am at this point in yeah. time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I choose. Yeah. Um. So I am going You're debating to the debate future. you and say see the future. So. Um, I can see what's going to happen, which could also be a really spectacular thing because if tragedy strikes, you could see ways to avoid that tragedy Mm. that could strike or you can see where you went wrong in the future and what you need to be doing now to Mm. not have those things happen from this point on. Mm. So just as going in the back and changing things, you're only hoping it has the effect of making things better for the future. If you go into the future, and change things you are factually making things better in the in the current times but then what if when you're going into the future it's the same exact thing but going backwards like it's like you see what's happening in the future but if you change something now then that's not the future anymore Ooh. but that could be altered. a good thing Ooh. right but then, but what if same with going in the past exactly if it, you it, fuck it goes around, both ways it goes you both find ways. out you fuck around, around find, you out. Fuck, find out so it's like i think for me what i would want to do is like i would want to go back do like the lotto mm-hmm. do something lotto where i can just sure. alter um i would i would have came out like on purpose like at i would have two done years old at gay. three years old gay, gay. <laughs> I mean, it's gay. and i truly believe that no but i, I feel like it would have been like pivotal points in my life that have already had up to these 33 years of mm-hmm, life mm-hmm. have they could have been different or i could have like and i don't even think maybe i wouldn't even have the anxiety i have now so if true. i was able to change those things so true but if you went into the future and you <laughs> saw so true <laughs> so true. true but if you fast forward and use it to travel to the future you could be like oh this company is gonna blow up buy stocks in that company mm. same thing as winning the lottery baby hitting the stock market right is the same thing as winning the lottery so you could literally do all of those things in the future as well you could I read that the, the mega the mega lotto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the million. Like right. I, I, I would put stock in like in like Tesla when they really started the company. Disney. Okay, Disney. <laughs> yeah. Well, like it, it, in that, yeah. Okay, so initially I had wrote down future, but Manny changed Damn. my mind on that one he, oh. because like like you can go back and like change certain things that'll set you up for your present now mm-hmm. and. The time travel paradox that you just talked about, whereas like you see it in the future and then you do something about it in the present the that's changed. no longer the future. Thank you. But time isn't travel it the paradox. exact same thing as if you mm-hmm. go into the future and then you go back to your present and then you switch shit up so it works for you in the future? You don't technically ever know. Same yeah. thing with the past. Unless you can keep seeing what the future. You're out- yeah, unless, unless you can case. like s- mm-hmm. slowly, you would never really know your outcome yeah. either way. Exactly. So it's really more so like it's a lose lose, not lose lose, but it's just it's a lose lose win win. It's like yeah, it's like it's it bounces back each way because mm-hmm. in your past the time travel the, the same you is just different mm-hmm. if you were to go to the past because if you do something different now your future that's not the future. Mm-hmm. Okay, next up. All I know is I'm sickening and I uh, won that one. <laughs> Laura, this one's yours. Reclining an airline seat. Everyone can do it. A sign of pure evil. Everyone can do it. That is your seat. You get to recline. The person in front of you gets to recline. I don't think it's an evil thing to do. And I will not be sacrificing my back to sit on a plane. Also, if you have an issue with the amount of seat space that's on an airline, it's then don't fly. It's been the same amount of space of literal space for how many years so it's kind of like it is what it is and if the person's leaning back in front of you that even puts you in a tighter place so you're not going to lean your seat back to get further back from them so the tv is going to be right here right so you would want to lean back too and if it's so evil the person behind you can lean back themselves so we're all leaning back here Mm -hmm, we're all mm -hmm. sitting in each other's laps it's just a part of air travel we get to travel on a plane through the sky and get to other countries across the world in hours. Are we really thinking it's that evil that we recline our seats on the plane? I think it's a little petty. Mm. So the reason that it's evil. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that it he is wants actually to fight this one he, so he, doesn't want to, he doesn't want to do it because I know that motherfucker right there, he'd be leaning back. He'd be reason. leaning back. 
the reason it's so evil is because I've 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 had mine broken once. <laughs> And um, they leaned and they've spilled my drink. Oh no. Aww. They have. So it, it actually has happened once where I, it wasn't broken, but I had it once where I had, you know when you can flip that thing down? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. you can the drink or whatever? Yeah. So I remember I had once like the person <clears throat> leaned back so quickly like this and it did actually spill my drink down. And I literally was like, you fucking bitch. Cause I'm like, can't you just literally go back slightly like you know, it doesn't need to be a fucking jolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does yeah. not be, mind you, there was not a lot of drinking in it. It was mostly ice, but it still pissed me off. Yeah. It still pissed me off. So I'm like, if you're going to lean back, do it in like a. You said it where she could hear you. Bitch. You yeah, I was like, you bitch. fucking bitch. But, but you and, then said, like, and then her head's like, around but, with this. But you said bitch, though. <laughs> no, but you said bitch. I didn't say the actress was mentally. internally. I said, I said, mentally, I, said, I was bitch. pissed. Mentally, I was pissed, but I was like, I feel like that was really evil the way that she did that. <laughs> I did. Um, all right, Manny, you did not sway me. Every this is actually a really big debate. You, you know that a lot of people think that you shouldn't recline. I don't give a shit. In, in like in coach seats. But if you if because they're else so tight. Recline, but if everybody is reclining, then what's the issue? Then there is no issue because we're all going back, going we're back a space. couple inches. Mm, yeah. And let's be very real here: the recline on two inches. coach is two inches. Let's not get baby. crazy now. It's not okay? like they're in the lap. I will no. say, at first class, it does get very lengthy. The recline, but you have more space, so it's okay. Yeah, you so know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's fine. That's when they make the recline more lengthy. Mm -hmm. And coach, I'm talking about. It goes. Let me show you the recline. Oh, recline. That, that's, like, that's literally it. It goes from having major back problems to minor back problems. Exactly. There's You're no still comfort. From 90 degrees to 80. <laughs> yes, there's no level of comfort Dima, you're experiencing mm -hmm. here. I agree. All I, right. I really didn't want to argue that one. I know you had one, to. You had to. So you both get one point. One point. One point. All right. This podcast is presented by Lash Paradise Mascara with L'Oreal Paris. I personally have been loving the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise Mascara because of how much length it gives my lashes. I have stubborn lashes and sometimes mm -hmm. I don't like to stand up, but this mascara gives it the length. What I love about it too is that I feel like it's so volumizing and I, like Laura, have lashes that just try us. They yes. absolutely try us it's to fill. But luckily with Miss Lash Paradise, it really gives them a fighting chance. And I love, love, love that the, the fluffy bristles from the brush give them a really fuller looking intensity on the lash my favorite thing also is that it lasts all day so i always have problems mm -hmm. with mascaras transferring but this one actually lasts it's truly the perfect mascara if you've got to go from day to night you can really count on this one baby clean girls out big mascaras in Drop the falsies. Lash Paradise Mascara gives you all the drama for your lashes. You guys can order Lash Paradise on Amazon now. All right, next one. Manny, you're answering first, right? Oh, man. Better last meal request. Oh. Puffer fish, puffer fish sushi or never ending breadsticks. Do you know what puffer fish sushi is? <laughs> yes, though that can kill you. It, it'll kill you, uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to go with never ending breadsticks. Okay. Because I personally <laughs> think that Olive Garden breadsticks are like really good. No, imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine Raising Cane's Texas toast. You took it too far. <laughs> An unlimited supply of Texas toast from Raising Cane's. Baby, I'm going to die eating that bread. <laughs> no, well, like a never ending breadstick. No, you're a puffer fish. Remember, you have to argue with why puffer fish is why you want to die. A person who doesn't eat seafood. Let's get it. Let's do <laughs> yep. it. Let's do um, it. So it, 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 it. Can I do my debate? Can I do my debate? No, I was just telling you're taking you. My, you're oh, taking, you literally reason. just took. He hasn't even finished. You just took, <laughs> Tyler, you just took my whole debate. And, 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 and I didn't hear. You, I didn't hear. I swear to God. Can you finish yours? Why Bread. breadsticks? Because they taste good. Well, I mean, one, they just they just taste good. And if I'm gonna go out by being so full, mm -hmm. let the bread expand in me. You know, carbs I mean? Grow don't me. count if carbs it's your last count, meal. Dead. So I say bread. Okay. Well, as Tyler has already told my debate for <laughs> Let's hear it. I said that to begin with. Puffer right? fish will kill you. Yeah. And I'd rather go out eating a puffer fish sushi than lethal injection, which I do believe is the way the last meal request thing happens. Mm -hmm. So I feel like um, 
I wouldn't enjoy the meal as a person, but would it be a better way to go out? I th I think quite possibly you could just, you know, knock it out instead of like the anxiety of the next morning, getting up, this is the last, and you're just going to die. So just eat the pufferfish sushi and it gets it over with way quicker. No enjoyment, but you know, the job's done and mm. no anxiety riddles you. I feel like I just want to have that last moment of happiness. <laughs> yeah. With the bread. With the you know bread. what I mean? The thing is, I think with lethal injection, like, it's very quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you're gone. How quick, though? I, we have to really ask. <laughs> we have to ask. No, but the we thing really is, the puffer ask. fish, you start to feel paralyzed. <gasps> so you die experience. from paralysis. That could be an experience. A terrible experience. <laughs> that could be an experience. <laughs> you start to get paralyzed and you, you can't, Are you, we you become sure? asphyxiated. Yes. <laughs> Everything stops. Like you get become. That's why you can't eat it too much because you'll get paralyzed. I feel like that's kind of what is going on Does with lethal injection. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Breadsticks. All right, guys. I chose breadsticks, but I'm switching. I'm switching to puffer fish, and the only reason I, I'm switching a because Laura got mad at you. No, no, no. I, yeah, I, uh, I'm right. switching because Laura got mad at me. I thought the no, biases was I'm not switching. Gonna I'm here. switching because you didn't even bring up the fact that. They're never ending breadsticks, man. And you're not gonna get killed because you have breadsticks. Like they just keep coming. That doesn't they're make never, sense. They're never they're never ending. About? They're ne it's your last meal if you just so keep eating. They're never oh, ending breadsticks. So, you just so you'll keep never die. Eating, never so ending. They can't end you. They can't end you because your meal never ended. So then would you not want that more? So you're I did, not but you didn't die? that wasn't your argument. And so that wasn't your argument. That's a very deep argument, but I'm gonna take my. <laughs> you know what? You're gonna take that. You're gonna card. take the W. I, the also, w I think one. you're lying about the pufferfish. How do I know that you get asphyxiated? <laughs> I'm saying you get paralyzed. That's why it happens. How do you know? Because I've looked into it. I don't believe you. Wow. I swear that is. <laughs> Next question, you answer right. Yeah. Who would win in a fight, Kim Kardashian or Kim Jong Un? Is it Kim Jong Un, the dictator of North Korea? Yes. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kim Kardashian, because from what I understand, they keep everything very secretive in North Korea, but Kim John Kim John Un. Uh-huh. Am I saying the name correctly? Yes. Kim John Yoon. Un. 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 Okay. Um, Mr. Un, we'll call him. Mr. Yes. Un. <laughs> Mr. Un. Um <laughs> Mr. From Kim. what I understand, <laughs> it's him fighting, not his army or his weapons it's literally kim and him battling it yes. out okay. okay and the last i heard is secretively he was in the hospital in very poor sickly health and they just didn't want to release that to the me media but it was getting heavily heavily leaked and i feel like kim kardashian is like a 43 year old woman she's in good health she's looking good she works out mm. and like we're talking kim trying to defeat a crippled old dictator that's hospitalized I think Kim would totally kick his ass. And that's my debate. Well, as Laura being a Kim stan, there's no way you weren't picking Kim. <laughs> um, but I think that Kim Jong Un, I actually don't think that he's only going to be like, it's just me fighting. I think he's going to use his forces. If I was Kim, but Mr. If, Kim, if, but I was if, Mr. Kim didn't. Mr. Un, if I was Mr. Un, I would definitely make sure that as, you know, the literal leader of an entire country, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Kim would be down and out. Mm -hmm. And I would make sure I'd, I'd use my resources, my little marionette dolls. Mm -hmm. It's not just, I don't think that it's just him and her personally battling. Oh. It's all them and their resources as well. Well, I interpret this, interpret <laughs> this as just Kim and Kim, mm -hmm. one on one, no dirtiness. Celebrity death match. Celebrity death match. That's what I, you're imagining. And I think Miss Kardashian would body slam him. Okay. I picked Kim Jong Un because I was thinking the same thing. Like he's going to drop a nuke, right? Right. But Laura swayed me. One on one celebrity death match. I should have never said celebrity death match. Kim K. There's no She wins that. There's of course no she way. wins it, you guys. I would have picked him too. <laughs> <laughs> I would have picked him too. Eat. I, of course, was thinking, like, of course, Kim's going to beat his ass. He's like literally on his he's deathbed not well. from what he's I not well. understand well, he doesn't allegedly. Poop. He doesn't Alleg poop. No wonder he's on his deathbed. Yeah, like something along the lines. Mm -hmm. of... No, no, no. He doesn't have a butthole. Okay, that is not true. <laughs> that did rumor, though. That was no, no, no. Rumor. He's, he's told his people that. He doesn't have a butthole. Wait, does he use like an ostomy bag? No, no, no. no. He thinks he's he doesn't like, poop. He's above people. And that like he doesn't fart. Or he's like, like a god. He's a he's god. god. Yeah. He's a god. He consumes all energy, and, and no energy is like expelled through like mm -hmm. taking a shit. Mm -hmm. That's why Kim would kick his ass. Kim would literally the like Kim right would into... literally. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. 
<laughs> no, I would have one thousand percent picked Kim as well. I know you had a battle, um, me. But I had, had a battle, battle me. Laura. I had a battle. Well, you get it was to, a losing fight. You get to start this one. <clears throat> Which is the superior piece of brownie, an edge or a center? The edge with every fiber of my literal being, and not only is the edge far superior than the center. When, when when we can use when you can use those trays that you put in that makes every piece a corner because <laughs> the thing is the best part about having a corner piece is that you're gonna still get softness in the center you're just getting every piece of it. if you're only getting a soft piece that's just one texture one flavor one thing a hard corner edge Chef's kiss. Okay. And that's my debate. Laurelay, <laughs> what's your rebuttal, darling? My rebuttal is the center of the brownie is a consistent level of gooiness and delicious melting in your mouth. Sometimes edges can be too burnt depending on who your brownie maker is. <laughs> and they're very unpleasurable to bite into. And it kind of ruins the whole brownie, in fact. And that typically almost never happens when you get the centerpiece. This is also known as the heart of the brownie okay mm. so you're taking the most elite piece of brownie Ooh. whenever you get that center Not piece elite. out mm -hmm. okay and the center is full goo you know my last rebuttal as oh. my third piece mm -hmm. as we do mm -hmm. um is that when when i eat your brownies Ooh. specifically as someone who is actually a very good brownie maker mm -hmm. who actually does a great job my mother anyone that any woman in my life knows how to make a brownie mm -hmm. and they are elite corner pieces. Mm -hmm. And not only is the center of that piece also gooey, mm -hmm. but you also get the hard edge. So it's kind of the best of both worlds when you get an edge and a center. Now check that. Okay. Um, I chose center and I'm sticking with center. I, I eat these elite brownies, and the center is always the best. He likes the center. I don't like edges. I didn't know that he didn't like I edges. I do not like edges. I love edges. We'll mm -mm. fight you to the death for the edge I, of a brownie. Laura, well, that's why we're like together I on know. this. I, I know. we're both like uh -huh. edge girlies. The center so is way better. Much more elite I on love, the edge. I love a good it's chewy too. Yeah. Oh. No, a gooey undercooked any like. How about when you take that bread? bite and you get a big hunk of the gooey with a big hunk of the crunchy edge, nope. and you get to bite it at once? It is one. One of the most euphoric experiences it's of life. It is. It is. You're crazy. I don't want the center. I don't want the center either. I don't either. I genuinely want the edges. I want the tray that with makes the four everything corners. an edge. I bought like a cupcake tray with mini squares and made all the brownies little squares and it was just like Divine. crack. I had to quit making I them. I love. It was too much. Okay. Um, who's answering the next one? You? Mm -hmm. So we're going to clarify this question. Um, it's using the airplane lavatory versus holding it at all costs. We're talking number two. Okay, if you have to take a shit. We're talking number if two. If you have to take a shit is what it's about. Yeah. Um, Literally go in that bathroom and you destroy that bitch. You do whatever <laughs> you need to do to sit on that plane. Some plane rides are 18, 24 hours, okay? I have obliterated bathrooms on airplanes and it wasn't my choice, okay? I've had situations that have gone on <laughs> with my bowels and I have made them almost unbearable. I've also hugged the seat of an airplane toilet while puking in it from being so drunk from the night before and doing an 11 hour flight the next day. So I have bonded. Paris. I have Paris. It got me. Paris will get you. I have bonded with the seat of an airplane toilet and I believe it's free will and you do what you need to do, especially in these difficult situations such as travel. Tear it up. <clears throat> Tear that toilet Manuel? up. The reason why... <laughs> We are going to hold it in at all costs because I've entered a bathroom post Laura Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and it's deadly. And it's something that I would rather just wait until I land to use my own restroom. Um, because, you know, I just can't smell those things that have been smelled. And also the thing is, the, the, the actual tea as well, is that sometimes plain bathrooms are so disgusting and they're so... Like they, they've been blown up, mm -hmm. you know, and like a lot of times the flight attendants, like they're not cleaning that. They're waiting until it's 
till they land where like the professional comes in and actually cleans everything. So like it has been an atomic wasteland in there and I've seen it where someone has blown it up, has thrown up all over it, has blown it up. It's literally like unable to be used. <laughs> so I'm like, at that point, I'm like, I'm just going to wait. I don't want to sit in literal shit and throw up. Okay. Um, I picked hold it and I'm going to stick with hold it. I've fun fact. I've never taken a shit on an airplane. No way. Dead ass. I can I've count never, on okay. all tip fingers I've and never toes. Taken I've, a shit I've, on I've plane. shit on a plane so many times. You guys, I, I shit on I a have schedule. Shit. I have blown up a bathroom in there. I was going to pick the blown up one. Of course, yeah. if I was yeah, Laura, I would definitely. pick the same exact one. Cause I was like, I can't not. I've almost shit myself on the plane. Like I had to go up into the bathroom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I guess I've just never been pushed to my limits. I have. And actually many occasions. Why have we both been pushed to many occasions? What the fuck? I don't know. And let me tell you something. I have no mercy for the person coming in after me. Because whatever needs to go down will go down. Did you like I'm like, I've been in the bathroom. (laughs) Literally though, like on an airplane, especially if you get to a bathroom that's like back in coach, you're taking a shit with somebody. You're imagine I'm on the toilet, Manny. You're right here. Right, right yeah. here. You're right. Mm-hmm. It's actually hell. Here. No, it is fucking hell. There is no, no I'm good. better relief I'm good. on this earth than whenever your shit is messed up and you get on that toilet. There's no. It's true. There's nothing relief, and I don't care if the Pope is sitting in my lap. <laughs> I will shit my You'll brains blow out. It I will blow. Especially up. when you have like, I have IBS, and so. If my IBS is acting up or if I get stressed about something, <laughs> let me tell you something. It's liquid lava. And let me tell you, the pain ain't going away till it's, the lava escapes. It ha- the lava has to escape it does. the body. It has to erupt. I'm telling you. It is fucked. And I will absolutely use the restroom. My body is like a clock. It's like, oh. Your body is not oh. a temple. Your <laughs> body not, is not, not a temple. It's actually the pits of hell. <laughs> and when I enter a plane, my butthole is literally like. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 Pulsating. Colin, 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 Colin. <laughs> and that's why I have to fly first class. <laughs> and, I just, oh, oh, my God. and that's why I fly business. <laughs> I'm so that sick. I know. I know. <laughs> oh my god, we took right, it too far. Right, we took the far. next one. Yeah. Ooh. Um, all right. Better at makeup. Who is this? You? Wait, is who that just did, who it's just, me? It's my turn. It's your oh turn. yeah, it's you. Mm-hmm. Better at makeup, a gang of mimes or the insane clown posse? Mimes, mimes, mimes. or the better at makeup. So a gang you know, of mimes. Do you know who the, or the in- insane no, clown posse? Is. Maybe we should Google so many. Let me get Google a vision. It. Yeah, Google, oh. Google it real quick. Okay, I think that the insane clown posse has better makeup skills than mimes do. Because mimes, you're really only doing a white face with like black accents. Mm-hmm. Whereas Miss Posse over here, mm-hmm. they're literally doing intricate shapes, brows, reshaping their face, doing these really intricate like mouth details. And their fans are doing that too. Like mm-hmm. they have they they've made their makeup of movement. Mm-hmm. And whereas mimes is like, girl, you're just painting your face completely white. Like it's not the T. So I think the insane clown posse has actual makeup talent. Mm. I think mimes have <laughs> actual makeup talent. Do tell. Because I don't know if you've ever gotten into makeup artistry like I have, but trying to get a solid, beautiful, unpatchy, uncracking Ooh. white. Mm. I've seen a few drag queens be able to pull it off, but none other than mimes. Mm. It is incredibly difficult and it takes major skill and it takes good product clown posse it's messy you can interpret it however you want you can slap some paint on your face and be considered done and be considered a clown whereas a mime is very specific and the makeup has to be executed in a professional manner i also love that the insane clown posse actually has a white base I, so not only do they have a white base, they have shapes on top of their white I base. I noticed that a <laughs> lot of the insane clown posse's white base is cracking. <laughs> it's it's patchy. It's transparent. I didn't see that in the four images I, did, I just saw. Yes, yes, yes. Oftentimes, that, running, actually. if you will, running, mm. if you will. Yes, <gasps> caked, wet, wet. Um, I didn't notice that. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with insane. Okay. 
I picked ICP. I'm sticking with ICP. That's fair. I would probably would pick that too. <laughs> yeah. Once I, I saw him, I was gonna be like, "How are they doing this?" I can't. <laughs> I can't Even I was like, this. "That was kind of hard." <laughs> the shapes looked tough. I tried. All right, I tried for the. That was a good try, though. The base that was good, I, and it is hard. That was good. It is hard. Laura is still winning. By uh, two points. I'm All you surprised. have to do is sway me once in your in your back tie. <gasps> All right. Uh, this one's yours, Laura. Which is the worst possible location for a first date? An escape room or karaoke bar? Oof. Los dos. I, Los dos. Okay, which one's worse? What's the worst. worst first date? I think karaoke bar is worse because I think if you did an escape room together, it's character building, it's problem solving. You kind of really get to see more of who the person is, whereas you went to an uh, uh, karaoke. It's just cringy, embarrassing confidence. Wait, which one's worse? I think the worse, worse is the karaoke date. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it would be better to do the escape room than the karaoke date because I feel like if you're doing an escape room, you're really like problem solving you're seeing who the person is whereas on a karaoke day that's just terrible you're in a loud drunk a bar on a first date is crazy first of all karaoke bar like a bar in general on a first date that's crazy second of all you're getting drunk on a first day at a karaoke bar typically and third of all nothing is cringier than watching karaoke so like you could get the ick for the person very very quickly in the karaoke bar the reason why the karaoke bar is actually not that bad mm. elaborate um <clears throat> is because you can see whether this person mm -hmm. is brave oh can go in front of people has like has a more outgoing personality. Whereas sometimes in escape rooms can be super stressful environments. And what if they have anxiety and what if they have claustrophobia? Okay, they're gonna freak the fuck out and they could go really wrong because you could argue in there. Mm. Escape rooms can become an arguing place. I've literally argued with my family in an escape room. So I was like, I know that can be a little, you know, tenacious. Where I feel like karaoke, you're seeing whether someone like has that like gusto mm -hmm. to be like, oh my God, are they willing enough or brave enough to go up and sing in front of people? Like yeah. that's wild. Like that means like, I'm like, if they did that, that means they could like propose to me. Yeah. Like that's brave <laughs> as fuck. Cause if, so if you're brave enough to sing in front of people, that is truly, I can't sing in front of people. Mm -hmm. So if someone were to do that for mm -hmm. me, I'd be like, oh my God, like you're in love with me. I feel like escape room would be actually a decent date because it's pr you can really see how a person uses their brain, interacts with other people, and how they think. Like just two people in escape room, just two people. Oh yeah, you could totally break this person mm. down. You can find out everything you need to know about them just in the escape room alone. Mm. So if anything, like I, I, I would be down for a first day as an escape room. You're not even making out with two people, so <laughs> I think the uh, two people chances are very low that you're gonna even make it out of the escape room, which is already devastating for everyone's morale. But <laughs> I think that. <laughs> Karaoke really is just, it's the vibe. All right, I chose for the worst karaoke and I stuck with karaoke. Yes. I would too. No swaying on that one. Yeah. I that agree. sounds you terrible. Karaoke? You had some good points though, but. Karaoke is literal my living hell. Oh, it's yeah. terrible. And you know that's my number one fear oh, is singing in front oh, of people. Oh, 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 you would literally. <laughs> you know I would literally kill myself. <laughs> and it's like a bar, so it's like a first day in a bar is kind of crazy. Yeah. It's not good. It's not it's good. It's not good. All right, Mandy, this one's you. Preferable way to emit gas. Silent but deadly, loud but harmless. Mm, that's interesting. That is interesting. Um, I'm gonna say loud and harmless because it's actually really funny. Mm -hmm. I think farting <laughs> is actually quite funny. So it's like if someone like around me and they fart, I'm literally crying tears and laughing <laughs> it up. So like I feel like it really it more so depends on like your people who are around you what the vibe is like if they're funny as fuck like if any of you like if we fart it's gonna be funny like i'm mm -hmm. laughing mm -hmm. you know you stepping on frogs like you be doing it all the time <laughs> and it's funny and like you're not really like oh shit what the fuck was that because it's just like a loud harmless one whereas a silent but deadly <laughs> is deadly but that's my argument is i would rather do it loud <clears throat> my argument <clears throat> is that my husband used to think silent but deadly was the term syllabadelly what the fuck is that? And people would say it so much that he Hello. thought Salabadelli was the term used for a secret fart. And he didn't realize it was silent, but it's three different words. I heard silent Badelli. So, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't know why we call what him that. What kind of but... internal issue is silent Badelli? <laughs> what kind of IBS is silent Badelli? It's silent Badelli. But I feel like I'm saying it's better, right? 
Silent yeah. Deadly is it's better. better. It's yeah. better. Because there are so many times in this world where you cannot just let one rip, but you have to. And that is where the silent, if they burn, they're going to stink. Ooh, and the great thing fire. about that is your hands are really clean in this situation. Because if I let one out, a silent Bedelli out right now, no one's going to know who did it. You will only know who didn't know. do it. And it's yourself. You would know. You would know. I would know that scent. It is better, <laughs> even if it's stinky, stinky, stinky. Listen, okay, you're in a boardroom meeting. Do you want to let a stink? <laughs> <laughs> You're in a boardroom meeting. Do you want to let a stinker rip out? And no one in that room even knows what hit them or where it came from. Are you going to sit in that boardroom meeting and just... No. No. Your outcome is best if it's stink silent but deadly all the way. On an airplane, silent but deadly is those hoes. You can't let it rip. I think that <laughs> I think that it's funnier even in a board meeting to break up the energy. I think you would be fired. <laughs> Cause I have done like what if you have to clear the room? Like how deadly are we talking? <laughs> that could ruin someone's clear day. The room. They'll that never one, know that could ruin you. their that's clear true, the but they could ruin their They'll day. They'll never know it was you and you're clearing the room too. <laughs> that's oh, foul. Oh, guess what? You know what it is? The, what if they figure out that it's you? They won't. They could. It's silent. It's, it's they could silent. easily what if you giggle when you fart? Like, <laughs> well like, it didn't say it said it is a giggle but deadly. It's, it's silent. silent. I think that <laughs> farting out loud is more funny. Okay, I chose out loud, but Laura swayed me. Her, Honestly, yeah. Her boardroom that one combo. Got you. Got you. She swayed it me with that you. one. Even me, I'm like, fuck the boardroom. Too. <laughs> uh, Honestly. I was like, guys, I can't fart in the boardroom. I've never been in a boardroom in my life, and I know I can't fart can't in there. I fart in the boardrooms now. I, I'm personally a silent but deadly. And I am too. Laura, I'm sorry. I'm oh. I'm a loud and heartless. I'm a silent but deadly. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a loud, I'm a loud and heartless. Deadly. Laura is a silent, I'm a silent but deadly. But Dead. Fucking Why something gotta, crawled in her I, and died. No. And died. Why can't you just say I'm a silent but deadly? Why do you have to go? <laughs> oh, something fucking killed inside. Something died in there. Like, oh my god. No, do you know what's actually one of my favorite things ever? And this is so sick, but it's my favorite. I'll be driving in my with my parents in the car or something, and I'll be like, "Fuck my stomach hurts." So I'll just do a little silent, but I know it. But I was like, "It's gonna be bad." Like, no, it's silent, silent. But I know it's gonna be horrific because it goes out hot. Oh. And I'm like, "Oh, this is gonna fuck it up." But like. I'm already starting to giggle because like, my parents' reactions when I do a sound of a deadly. your ass. No, hair, literally, so their reaction is like, what the <laughs> fuck? And they roll it will make like, me Jesus. so those mad. Are, see, those can be just as funny. No, it's <laughs> funny as fuck. It actually is very funny. Uh, oh, that shit is that so funny. So oh, all right. Who's the, who, who am I asking? Laura's picking. All right, last one. And I'm, I'm glad Manny gets to pick this one so he can fuck Laura up. Oh, um, Manny. Better honorary doctor, Dr. Dre or Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper. <gasps> Dr. Pepper, because the thing is, I'm not even a really a huge fan of like rap like that. Whereas Dr. Pepper, it's a way of life. <laughs> it's it's a substance that people replace water with even. And it's, I've seen enough TikTok videos about Dr. Pepper that I know that it's real. I know Dr. Pepper is real and it is very of all the dark sodas I dr that I would drink Dr. Pepper would be the one and I don't even like dark soda Dr. Pepper is that girl so um, what about Dr. how Trey, do you Laura? feel Laura uh, between the two which one do you think is a mm. better honorary doctor mm. Mm. let me think about mm. that for a minute <laughs> this, this pains let you to say let me mull that over <laughs> I think Dr. Dre mm. is great. Why? Wow, I'm Why glad we got this that? on film. <laughs> the cut, we're, we're, we're deleting this <laughs> footage. I think Dr. Dre is better because he came out with the cult classic hit. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's the motherfucking D-O-double-G. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> So wouldn't that be Snoop Dogg? California. I, I, I thought that was Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Is he on? He's no, part he, of that West Side. I think he produced Side. it. Okay. So, yeah. Amazing producer. Came up with the Beats head, headphones that we all love and listen to. The little Beats. 
The little bee. More like an apple. Oh. Mm. Apple. And, you know, he <laughs> performed at the Super Bowl last year he with did. Eminem. He did. He has a lot of connections, a lot of friends in the industry, a lot of money. Um, so, in your opinion, really a better great doctor. Music. A better doctor that way. If a can of Dr. Pepper or this man had to do my surgery, I would pick <laughs> Dr. Dre to do my surgery. <laughs> I think as an honorary doctor, as an, as an honorary doctor, the thing is, Dr. Dre might be worth a lot, but Dr. Pepper is worth more. And they could hire the best. If you need a surgery, they can hire the best version of a surgeon, whatever it might be, because they are worth so much more money than Dr. Dre is. Mm, nothing has quenched my thirst more than a Dr. Dre song. <laughs> <laughs> nothing on this Dre. earth has mm -hmm. quenched my thirst more than a Dr. Dre song. Okay, y'all. I chose Dr. Pepper, and I'm going to stick with Dr. Pepper. You know what? Pepper. You're right for that. That's correct. You're right for that. But that you almost correct. swayed me when you're like, if a, if a can of Dr. Pepper or Dr. Fun. Dre what am I gonna say about that? are doing that surgery so on me. That was really good, Laura. You almost like, swayed me with that one. <sighs> Woo! But, All right, y'all. So let me tally up the score. Manny lost. Yeah. Okay. Laura won 14 to 10. <laughs> okay, next time we'll have a new moderator that likes you more than me. I think we should. <laughs> oh, you think that I like you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't want to get yelled at on the way home. I oh, know. shut up. <laughs> yeah. I always yell at you. I'm just kidding. No, you, my, you favorite part, my, favorite, my favorite part was when Laura's like, you took my argument. And then you still gave it to her. And I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, because you're a little <laughs> This is how we really act, guys. No, In case you wanted to know, we'd be battling. And I'm like, I'm actually the moderator. I'm like, I don't think that Tyler was correct. <laughs> no, you always take Laura's side. I do not. And he, Manny's involved in a lot of our arguments. And he takes, <laughs> God bless him. And he takes Laura's side every That's single That's his fucking time. job. He's literally on my payroll. No, your job is to take <laughs> My side. Your job is to be sensible. The th I am sensible. He is. A lot of the times, not it's when your it fault. comes to us. Thank A lot you. of times, it's your fault. Thank you. That's just Manny the reality knows. of life. Many knows. I would say I, I'm so on Laura's side 99% yeah. of the time. Yes. Yeah. Even if he the, knows the 1% right. hasn't happened yet. Uh -huh. I will say. <laughs> But it could happen. It but could. If I play my cards right. <laughs> if you make sure I win next time. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Anyways, you guys, that was it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. I actually had a lot of fun playing the game. I thought Me it was too. really fun. Me funny. too. And it's also very hard, but really fun. Yeah. So do what I wanted to your answer. <laughs> I know, I, I know. Like, I defend Dr. Dre. Let's think about that. That's true. Let's that think was, about that. That was hell on earth. I like Dr. Dre, but if but we're like, comparing damn. Dr. Pepper, damn. <laughs> I defend Night and day. I defend center brownie pieces. <laughs> and, you was, and you won. And you won. Because you like fucking I don't know, he like centers. I actually forgot he likes centers. You couldn't sway me. <sighs> that was unswayable. All right, guys. Well, horrible, that was our debate. Horrible. We hope you enjoyed watching me and Manny argue it out. Be sure and rate. Argue, yeah. Title. <laughs> I argue today. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. And don't forget to rate, like, and subscribe, just like Laura said. Bye, guys. We'll see you next one. Later. Bye.